Panasonic's Lumix G92 and Olympus's OM System OM1 may look tiny, but they pack a punch with killer features. Olympus is swinging for the fences with its high-tech stacked sensor. Panasonic is getting crafty by refining their already popular G9. Both snap stunning photos and videos in compact bodies. But only one takes the belt as the best MFT camera out there. In this video, we're going to find that out. The new G92 camera has a more modern design compared to the original DSLR, like Lumix G9. It looks a lot like the S5 too, so much so that you might mistake one for the other. However, there are some trade-offs. You lose features like the top LCD and front FN lever, but you gain better control with twin dials, a more noticeable AF selector, and a dedicated dial for continuous shooting. The electronic viewfinder hasn't improved much, but the rear LCD has gotten a significant upgrade, providing a detailed and bright shooting experience, even in direct sunlight. Although the weight is the same as the old model, this Micro Four Thirds camera might seem relatively large for its category. Did you know that 72% of visitors are more likely to make their purchases soon after watching a product video? This makes it necessary to have a product demonstration or promo video for showcasing your product's potential values and benefits. At Product Video Studio, we are equipped with camera gear, tools, and most importantly, expertise to make your video captivating and engaging. Just send your products and we'll handle the rest. Contact us today to create something amazing together. In contrast, the OM-1 features a body with a more substantial grip than previous EM-1 cameras, maintaining a familiar control layout. The design includes smooth curved edges, a new shutter button, and concave AF or drive mode buttons to reduce accidental presses. This rugged camera exceeds industry standards with an official IP53 weatherproofing rating. An elegant touch is the curved thumb grip, cleverly concealing twin SD card slots. The card door is securely locked but easily opens, and both slots support UHS-2. The OM System OM-1 is available in a single black color option. Beneath its exterior, the G92 boasts a newly designed 25.2 megapixel live MOS sensor paired with an entirely new processing engine. Using a high resolution pixel shift mode, the G92 can now produce 100 megapixel images even when handheld. The upgraded autofocus system, featuring an expanded 779 phase detection autofocus system known as Hybrid Phase AF, not only enables faster and more precise focusing, but also introduces advanced subject recognition and tracking algorithms. In the video department, the camera excels with resolutions of 5, 7K at 60p and 4K at 120p. Panasonic has also significantly improved the image stabilization system, providing up to eight stops of in-body stabilization. For still photography, the Micro Four Thirds sensor stands out especially when you need greater reach for capturing sports or wildlife moments due to its two times crop factor. Now, the OM-1 is built on a new 20 megapixel stacked CMOS image sensor, representing a step beyond BSI, backside illuminated designs. Stacked sensors use layers of semiconductor to enable more intricate designs and faster readout speeds. This specific sensor has 20 million micro lenses and a Bayer array with 20 million color patches. Each color patch contains four photodiodes that collaborate to form a single pixel. These subpixels can be read individually, allowing the camera to capture four slightly different perspectives of the scene. By comparing these perspectives, the camera can gather depth information, enabling phase difference autofocus in an X-shaped pattern. Although the stacked CMOS design of the OM-1 provides only twice the readout speed of its predecessor due to the challenge of reading 80 million individual photodiodes, it still enables the execution of the handheld high resolution mode. This mode captures eight images with slight offsets to create 50 megapixel images, now with a reduced risk of subject movement between shots. And when using vlog mode, the Lumix G92 can record in four, two, 0, 10 bit providing an impressive dynamic range of up to 13 stops. 
Additionally, it supports recording in the Apple ProRes format and allows direct recording to an external SSD. Another significant change with a substantial impact is the new dual output gain system. Panasonic describes this as a system with two separate readout paths that receive different gain levels, and then these two signals are merged or combined. Users also have the capability to create and install real-time lookup tables directly onto the camera, applicable to both photos and videos. The camera comes with 19 pre-made alerts, now including the new Leica monochrome option. While achieving the highest video image quality with the OM-1, the H.265 format enables recording 4K 10-bit footage at a maximum of 60 frames per second. This format offers the choice between ohm log or hybrid log gamma, marking a significant advancement. When using image stabilization for smooth handheld videos, a slight crop is applied to the 4K image area. The in-body image stabilization of the OM-1 relies on a highly responsive gyroscopic sensor similar to the one introduced in the EM-1X, but the module in the OM-1 is smaller and faster. It effectively corrects camera shake across five axes, providing up to seven stops of correction. When combined with lens-based optical image stabilization, known as SYNC-S, it can achieve up to eight stops of correction for yaw and pitch. With higher resolution modes, better video specs, and advanced autofocus powered by the stacked CMOS sensor, the OM system OM-1 is the winner here. The Lumix G92 is still a highly capable camera, especially for Panasonic users, those invested in the Lumix or Panasonic ecosystem. But the OM-1 stretches boundaries and offers the best overall micro four-thirds performance. So if you demand the highest quality from the micro four-third system, the OM system OM-1 takes the crown over the G92. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Consider subscribing for more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.